tier list will start and uh, with the hardest part, like choosing the starters. And I'm going to just... Um, I'm going to think about it for a second because this is a tough part. This is the part that makes people hate you straight up, you know? Okay, I'm going to start by saying what my favorite starter is out of the three. And my favorite starter actually is Bulbasaur. It's tough, I know, but Bulbasaur is the superior starter because Bulbasaur is not only cool and looks like super cute, but Bulbasaur also has an advantage about against basically every single gym, you know, like you start the, the whole thing in Kanto and you have a rock type gym, a water type gym, then you have an electric type gym and you can beat that thing. I mean, it's just the best starter, you know, it's just the best starter. So um, I have to put A on every single one of them. And the order is actually the one that I have on screen. Like th that, that is 100% the order, like Bulbasaur, Charmander, and then Squirtle. Like I really like Squirtle, but it is not as good as the rest. I'll do it like this, like they will be organized by the order that they are uh, from best to worst, even in the, the, the specific tiers, so I'll do it like that, but the three starters, I'll put them like that, like exactly as they are, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, like that is the way that I would do them, none of them is S tier, but they're all very good, I, I think they're, they're just iconic, they're just the iconic gen 1 starters, you know, not as good as Totodile. I mean, they, they didn't know the masterpiece that they would create eventually, but uh, it is it is a good one, you know? But l let's go with the second part, because th this, I think, is one where you can actually find some different opinions, I think. Because they are cool. Like, the, the evolutions are all super cool, but I don't know to what extent they are better than each other, you know? Like, they're, they're fine, you know? Uh, the Gen 5 Monkeys tier is the worst tier ever, and it is saved for the Gen 5 Monkeys. They are the worst part of the possible Gen 5 remakes or Gen 5 sequels or whatever that we're gonna get. It's having to live through those monkeys again. Okay, let me look at this. I'm gonna be honest, Ivysaur is better than Charmeleon and Wartotl. It, it just is. It looks so much better than the rest of them. I, th I actually think that the worst of the three is the Charmeleon. Looking at them like this, I just think that Charmeleon is below. Yeah, it, it is below Ivysaur and Wartortle. In my opinion, it's, it's just the way it is. Now, are they A tier as well? I'm going to put them in B simply because they're no starters. No, actually, I'm going to do Ivysaur in A. This is the way that I would do it. I mean, Charmeleon in the anime had a lot of personality and a lot going for it. But I, I'm just looking at them right now. Like, just by looking at them... How do I feel? Because War Turtle also is a very uh, iconic Pokemon. And I just prefer Charmeleon, uh, War Turtle to Charmeleon. I just prefer that. Now, the big ones, I think we're going to get our first S tier. We just have to get our first S tier. I know that um, it, it will sound ver very much like very much like something that uh, it will be incredibly cliche, but um, it is just the way it is. I feel like Charizard is S tier. It, it is the first S tier that we have. I, I just feel like that's the case. I think Blastoise is high A tier, above, like in front of the starters. I believe that Blastoise is better than the starters. And I think that Venusaur is... How should I do it? I will do this for Venusaur. I think that Ivysaur is on par with Venusaur. But I think that Blastoise and Charizard are just on another level. They are uh, just cooler. They have a cooler design because, you know, a turtle with cannons and a, a dragon that wasn't a dragon, but it looks like a dragon, so that's cool. Yeah, to me, they are just better. They are just better. Talking about the OG first route bugs that we have, I think Caterpie is uh, A tier, like 100% A tier. I just think that there's no denying that. And I'll do Whittle in C tier. Yeah, Whittle is cool, but I don't feel like Whittle is uh, as... I don't want to say impressive, but there's so much going for Caterpie, you know, like... Caterpie looks so much cu uh, cuter than that. Like, um, Will is just a Weedle. You know, it has a, a thorn and all that. Let's have Metapod and Kakuna. I think they're both just C tier. There's nothing special about them. You know, they're just... Uh, yeah, I, I like Kakuna more, but there's nothing special about either of them. You know, there's literally only one thing that Metapod has going for it. Only one thing. And that's the Metapod versus Metapod situation in the anime, you know? That is the only thing Metapod has going for it. And uh, that's not enough to, uh, you know, make me think that, oh, this is a good Pokemon. This is, I like it. You know, it's going to be like this. Between the bee and the butterfly, I 100% prefer Beedrill. They are, they are still C tier for me. I'm going to I'm gonna go like, um, for now, I'll get them both in, uh, in A tier. I, I think I'm just going to go C tier on this, honestly. Like, they're cool Pokemon. They're just nothing uh, incredibly special. They're better than Kakuna, Weedle, and Metapod. But I think there's nothing 
like crazy special about them, you know? There's nothing that I look at them like, mm, this Pokemon is amazing. You know, there's the whole Ashes, Pidgeot, and all that thing. But it's not this enough for me to be like, oh yeah, these Pokemon are just incredible. I'll, I'll go C tier on them. They're middle of the road. They're fine. Okay, now we start with really cool Pokemon. I'm going to go back to B tier. I think that Rat uh, Rattata as a, a rat Pokemon works incredibly well. There's something about it. The design is perfect. I wouldn't change the thing about, about the Pokemon. I would just not change the thing. I'll go back to B tier with them. And about Raticate, I mean, yeah, sure. Raticate is fine. Alolan Raticate is incredible. Cantonian Raticate is just fine, I guess. I think I would do it like that. I really like Rattata. I think it's a very cool Pokemon. I really like the idea behind it, the design, everything. Raticate is just there, you know? I would do Spiro just below PJ, but I think this is my first D tier, honestly. I really don't think Firo has a lot going for it. Gotta be honest, I, I, I don't think Firo is that cool. Okay, these are nice. These are actually nice. These are 100% high B Pokemon. They are super iconic. The designs are just perfect. There's like nothing too crazy about them, but there's also, they are complex enough to be really cool. The names are super fine as well. I love the names like Ekon, Snake, Arbok, Cobra. I love that. So um, I think they're just better than the rest. They're very well-made Pokemon. I really like them. I really think they are incredible Pokemon. And the Team Rocket stuff, you know, the Team Rocket stuff kind of helps, I guess. Oh, it's time for the big one. So let, let's discuss the rat. There's not a lot to say about Pikachu. I'm going to go, th this will be like super cliche as well, but I think the design is perfect. Pikachu is perfect for what Pikachu is. Come on, Kaz. What's wrong with Pikachu? What's wrong with Pikachu here? It's, it's cool. I mean, I, I know it's like, oh, sure, you put the Pikachu at the top and all that, but it is a cool Pokemon. It, is it the best Pokemon out there? No, and I might put it in like high A eventually, but it is a very cool Pokemon. It's below Charizard for now. Like, it's going to be below more things. It, it's so well made, you know? Like, it's so well made. Like, it worked, you know? Like, the, the numbers don't lie. Pikachu is Pikachu. And I think I might be influenced by all of that, but Pikachu is Pikachu, you know? All right. The evolution. Raichu is a pretty cool Pokemon. Chunky Pikachu is better. Yeah, Ch a Chunky Pikachu would be uh, higher than Charizard. Chunky Pikachu is just uh, on another level. I, I, I really hate that they changed that. I gotta be honest, I really hate that they actually changed that. Where will I put the Raichu? I think I'll probably do it like here. Okay, I, I think I'll do it like this. I think Raichu is fine. I, I will do it like this. I'll actually do it like this. I like it, but I really like Ivysaur. I don't know if you guys noticed already, but I really like Ivysaur. I really do. Okay, now we have uh, some of my favorite Pokemon. I think that this line has to be one of my favorite lines. It's just very, 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 very cool. Yeah, this, these are A tier Pokemon for me. And honestly, they are better than the, the other starters. I really like this Pokemon. I really, really like this Pokemon. Ah, the Nidorans. Hmm, my worst enemies. Okay, let me see. I think I end up preferring the, um, the male version simply because they're more um, edgy, spiky, and I think I like the design like that. I would say they're B tier. I'd go B tier, but the thing is, I know that I'll have to leave some space because I do prefer the full line a lot more, and I, I know that for a fact. Nidorino is just better than the rest. I like the spikier version. I like the spiky things. So I'm going to do this already. Like, Nidoking is also here. I, I think Nidorino is better. I, honestly, I feel like Nidoran female is the worst of the six Pokemon we have in these evolution lines. I really feel like they are the worst. I, I would do it like this, you know? I'm a Charizard boy. I think, I mean, the design is amazing. I prefer starting with Char with uh, Bulbasaur, but Char Charizard just looks cooler, you know? Like, it, it is a cool Pokemon. It really is a very cool Pokemon. Tell me that you don't think that Charizard is a badass Pokemon. Like, it is. There's no denying that. It just is a very badass Pokemon. I will not be silenced. I will not be silenced, honestly. I, I will not. <laughs> I cannot be silenced. What do we have next? Ah, okay, sure. Eh. I I'm going to be honest. I don't care for Clefairy or for uh, Clefable. I, I really don't. I mean, they're cute. The whole moon thing is nice. But there's just nothing that I have. For uh, there's nothing. I like Clefairy more than Firo. I don't want to do F tier for Clefable, but I feel like I think like Clefable is F tier. I really don't see nothing about Clefable. Actually, I don't like the Pokemon that much. I'll go F tier on Clefable. But we have another S tier line, I believe. These Pokemon are fantastic. Volpix and Ninetales are just fantastic. They're just really good. They're just really good Pokemon. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put Volpix right here. And I'm going to go like this. I really think that these Pokemon are very, very cool. 
All right. So let's go with the balloons. You know, I'll do Jigglypuff with a low B. I'm going to do Wigglytuff like this because I think it is cuter than Clefable. I look at it and I see, okay, I can see why people would like you. And I don't see that for Clefable. Now, now comes the Zubat line. There's one Pokemon in the Zubat line that I think is S tier and it is not in this generation. I think Robot is incredible. Robot is super cool and uh, it will be right there on S tier, but, but there's no Crobat in Gen 1. So um, yeah, I'm going to go with high C for them. They're cool. Zubat is super iconic, uh, but I'll still uh, do. Okay, let's, let's go Zubat in. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this. Now, actually, I'm going to swap Zubat with Jigglypuff and Golbat stays right here. I'll, I'll do it like that. I think Oddish is really cute. I'll put Oddish in, um, in B tier. I'll put it right there, like next to Zubat and Jigglypuff. It's fine. I'll go Gloom and Vileplume as high C. I think that's exactly that. They're, they're, they're cool. They're fine. Like, there's nothing there that makes me think like, oh, yeah, this is uh, super awesome, you know? Like, yeah, 100% like this. Yeah. What do we have? Oh, okay, okay. I think Paras became an A tier Pokemon for me. Legends Arc has changed my view on Paras completely. I, I was fine with the Pokemon. That's a cool Pokemon. Uh, it looks weird, so that's fine. I like weird Pokemon sometimes. But Legends Arceus kind of changed the whole thing because it made Paras uh, an absolute madness. I look at Paras now and I'm like, I really like this Pokemon. I don't even care about the weaknesses. It, it's just Paras. I, it was my weakness, you know? Paras was my weakness. It was literally trying to kill me in uh, the Crimson Mirelands. And I was like, okay, that's, uh, that's a dangerous Pokemon. I like it. Weird and dangerous. Just, just a combination that I really enjoy. Unlike Paras... Unlike Paras, Parasect has nothing really that, um, you know, there's nothing really crazy there. I'm going to add Parasect to the C tier of Pokemon that I, I'm fine with them. You know, I'm fine with this Pokemon. It's cool. Venonat and Venomoth. I like them. I like both of these Pokemon. Okay, so real Butterfree pre-evolution right here because it is the superior, well, the second superior uh, bug I'm forgetting. I, th I think this Pokemon looks really cool. I really like the shiny form. I, I really like, I, I like the Venonat line. I, I don't know why, but I think they're, they're cool. I'll do it like this. Yeah, I would do it like this. Higher than Beedrill and Butterfree because I just preferred them off. Oh, okay. Now we have the real ones. We have Mr. Diglett and uh, we have Mr. Ductrio. Are they iconic? Are, are you forever going to remember that there are Pokemon that uh, you don't know the body of? You are. Are they anything that crazy? Hmm. I don't think so. I would go high c for both of them the only place where they are different is actually in alola and uh i would definitely have them higher in alola because they're cool okay now we're reaching i like cats i really do like cats and we have two cats right now i prefer galarian meowth and i prefer the other um evolution but i do think that meowth regular meowth is an eight year pokemon i, th I think it's a very well made pokemon and there's a reason why it is so cool i Think Persian is Persian. Ooh, the known, right? <laughs> hmm, why does the Berserker guy like that so much, you know? I think Persian is just C tier. I mean, it's it's a cat, so I'll, I'll at least put Persian uh, in front of the, the, the rat, you know? There, there, there's a better Persian. Like, the, the other Persian, the weird one, the weird swollen Persian, is better than this one. Because it at least has something that you look at and you're like, ha, ah, that's funny, you know? This one is just a cat. Not my, not my thing. And Perserker is Perserker. Come on. Like, if you're going to have a Meowth, at least you use the right one and evolve it to the right thing. Oh, I love these ones. Okay. Uh, Psyduck and Golduck. Psyduck is higher than Golduck on all senses of the word because I don't think Psyduck is sober in any way, shape, or form. Psyduck has either taken some things or seen some things. I would put Golduck lower than Psyduck, though, by a lot. I don't think that um, it is that cool of a Pokemon. I would get Psyduck right there. I think it's a very cool Pokemon. Come on. It just looks so awesome. I mean, yeah, let's let's get it here. It's fine. Golduck is fine, I guess. I kind of thought about, like, if you have Psyduck, which is um, a yellow duck, and then it evolves into a duck that is called Golduck, why not make the sh at least the shiny of the Golduck golden? Imagine if Golduck had a shiny gold form, you know? That would be cool. Let's go for Monkey and Primate. My favorite Pokemon from the whole monkey line is actually Annihilate. I would put Annihilate in high A or low S because I just really like the Pokemon. I think that was one of the best evolutions they could have made. And even the name is amazing. Like, just the name alone wins Annihilate, like, low S, high A. 
they didn't have to go so hard on that Pokemon. They didn't have to do it, but they did. They did, and I'm very happy that that Pokemon is amazing. As for the rest, they're fine. I like them. So yeah, I would go Primeape to B tier. It could be there. Like next to Golduck, it's one of those that it really doesn't matter what it is, honestly. I'll get Monkey in B tier as well. Yeah, above Venomoth, I think that's fine. Growlithe and Arcanine have a bit of that uh, Vulpix magic going on, you know? They're both really cool Pokemon, and I think that Arcanine... I'm gonna do both of them in high A. I think that's gonna be that. Vulpix is better than both of them, though. Vulpix is better, 100%. Now, the Poliwag line. I don't think they're anything special. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath. I, I don't care a lot about neither of them. I've gotta be honest. I think I'll do C tier for the whole line. Like, for example, just below Vileplume. Or just above. Yeah, just above. Yeah, Politoed is 100% better. I, I think that Politoed being so different from the rest of them uh, gets it some points. Now we go for the Abra line. I really like this line, by the way. I think these Pokemon are all at least A tier. The whole line is just very well made. I, I would put them uh, high A, no S tier. This, I, You know, I think Mega Alakazam is, in my opinion, S tier. I really like Mega Alakazam. I think I'm going to go high A for them. They're super awesome. But uh, the only one that deserves the S tier is the, the Mega Alakazam. The Machop line. I don't care a lot about the Machop line. Out of all the fighting Pokemon that we ever got, I would say that they are not the best uh, fighting Pokemon we ever got. They do their job perfectly. They are. They look like fighting Pokemon. They are fighting Pokemon. They are some of the first fighting Pokemon. And it's because they look too human. I'd go low C for them. I, I really I really couldn't care less about them. I could. They could be D tier. I, I think they do their job perfectly of being fighting type Pokemon and looking like fighting type Pokemon. But there's really not a lot that they have going for them. Like, they're strange. I'm happy that they have a job in the Pokemon world. I'm happy that's a thing. Let's start the... That's, let's carry on with our um, adventure through the tier list where we got to check three Pokemon that are actually, they're interesting. I mean, if I had to choose between the Oddish line and the Bellsprout line, I would honestly go for the Bellsprout line. The Bellsprout line looks a lot better than the Oddish line. I just like them a lot more. First, yeah, Victory Bell is a lot more iconic than uh, any of the Oddish line put together. So um, I'm 100% behind the Bellsprout line. Yeah, I'd put them all here. But yeah, basically, I do prefer them to the Oddish line. The Oddish line is not as good as the Bellsprout line, in my opinion. Okay, we got the Tentacle now. Tentacle and Tentacruel. I don't mind them. I think they're fine. I would honestly go, like, high C for this, I guess. I think that's probably how I'm gonna go for that. I feel like they're fine. I'll go high C for both. I think that's the right way for me. If that was a Cantonian, uh, an Alolan, Ductrio, and, and Diglett, things would be very different, but... They're not. They're just a run-of-the-mill Cantonian, Diglett, and Ductrio. They, they're not worth a lot. So I'm going to get these guys right there. Now we're going to go for uh, Stone Stuff. We're going to go for the Stone Bros. And honestly, they're good. Yeah, I would go A for Geodude and Golem. And then I would go low B for Graveler. Yeah, I think that's how I would do it. A long is S tier on the other hand. Hmm. Okay, I can see that. It has a beard. If it has a beard, I, I'm usually very fine with those Pokemon. You know, like Viking Cat, you know? It looks goofy. I like it. Okay, these Pokemon are cool. I know it is just a fire horse, and I know this is just another fire horse with a horn, but they are very cool Pokemon. I would say that they are Arcanine tier of things, Arcanine Vulpix tier of things. They're not S tier. I would not put them in S tier. I think they're good. I think they're really, really good, but I, wouldn't, I would not put them in S tier. I think they're very high A, though. I think these two Pokemon are in the, you know, the Kadabra line, Arcanine line. They're, they're really nice. I do think that both the forms actually are very good. I think Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash are very, very nice as well. Okay, these are just incredible Pokemon. Let's be honest. Both of them are really good. I, I think they're both A tier. All the, low, the love that Slowpoke has been getting lately, it deserves it, you know? It's a very nice Pokemon. I would 100% put this in A tier, right behind the Abra line. For Slowpoke at least, Slowpoke should be here. I would say I'll put both of them there, actually. Screw it. I, I really like both of them. I really, really like both of them. Uh, let, let me just situate myself. Oh, these ones. Magnemite and Magneton. They're fine. I, I would go C tier with this, honestly. I think they're C tier Pokemon. They're not bad, you know? They're not bad. They're just not really, really crazy, you know? That's fine. They're, the, the idea behind them is interesting, you know? They evolve through magnetism, technically, you know? Oh, we have more now because they got together, blah, 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 you know? It, it's, it's a cool thing. It's a cool thing. But um, I, would go, I would go C tier with them, honestly. Okay. Uh, I really like this one. 
I think Farfetch is um, a, a tier Pokemon, either high B or low A. I like it. I think it's a very cool design. I uh, I prefer Galarian Gal Galarian Farfetch by a mile. I really like Galarian Farfetch. I think it, it just looks better. And the anime kind of did that for me. You know, I I enjoyed the Galar the Galarian Farfetch in the anime, so that was fine. I love Surfetch like a lot. I would put Surfetch in like high A, uh, low S. I really enjoy that Pokemon. But uh, for for the the regular one, the Cantonian one, I would just go hi high B, low A. I think. Okay, um, we have Doduo and Dudrio here. Huh. I think they're okay. I would go C tier with them. I prefer Dodrio to Doduo, like 100%. So I would go probably... I, th I think I'm going to do it like that. That's fine. Doduo is fine. I think Dodrio is better though. But still, like, it's better. But it's still C tier, you know? Like, there's... You know, like, they're fine. <laughs> it, that That's the way it is. I, I'm going to go like... Um, Dodrio is slightly better than Doduo. I'm gonna get Dodrio right there. Like, over Gloom, behind Magneton. Gotta be honest, it doesn't matter much in this tier, honestly. C tier is like, they're eh, fine. You know, it is that. Okay, now we get the ones that Odd hates. And you're right. I'm looking at them again, and uh, I kind of like Dugong more than Steel, now that I'm looking at them. I still prefer them to Clefairy, Firo, and all that. So I would go, like... Steel stay, stays there, and I, I like Dugong better than those, so I, I would go, um, I'll just move this lower again, get uh, Dugong over there. They're fine. These ones I really like. I am a huge fan of this evolution line. I really am, and I love their Alolan forms. I love their Alolan forms, and I really like their Cantonian forms. I, every time I'm able to, I try to use them. I think they're pretty high there on the A tier. I am pretty sure the reason I like uh, Mark and Grimer so much is because of the anime. Because uh, even if I was not watching the anime for years and years and years, and uh, I still watched it as a uh, kid. And I watched it up to Gen 3, I believe. So I still had those specific Pokemon that I really like, like Heracross. I love Heracross because of that. I really, really liked Heracross because of that. And then... Uh, um, what was their name? Like, um, Torkoal. I always liked Torkoal, and I never understood why. Like, it's a turtle, a, a volcano turtle, a furnace turtle. That's that's cool, I guess, but why do I like it so much? And I know it's because Ash had one, and that, that was imprinted in, in my brain as a child, and I was like, yeah, I just liked them. I'm gonna get Grimer in A tier, like right there. I'm gonna get Grimer right there. I, I'm gonna get Mug in S tier, just because I really like the Pokemon. It's a little form is also an S tier for me. I really enjoy those two, so I am I am right there. Up high with those two. The Shelter line. I like them. I think they're really cool. They're definitely A tier Pokemon. Like 100%. They're A tier Pokemon. They look really nice. I think they're higher than... Um, they're below Sentru. I think I think I would do that. I would put them below Sentru, but above Psyduck. Now we're going to get another S tier. I mean, Ghastly, Hunter, Gengar. Like, this line is just incredible. Like, screw it. They're, they're, I would go all S tier on them. I will just go S tier on every single one of them. Gengar is S tier. Like, I, I'm, I'm not even discussing this one. Gengar is an absolute S tier Pokemon, like 100%. In fact, Gengar is above all of this. Gengar, so far, is the best Pokemon. Screw it. They were inspired when they made these ones, you know? And I'm honestly going to do, like, S tier on the whole line. It's it's just a very cool line. Uh, cool line is... It's incredible. It's, screw it. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. Like, they're very cool. I'm gonna do it like that. They stay there. Like, they are a low S on the pre-evolutions, okay? That's fine. But Gengar is just very high there. I don't know. They uh, they had been touched by the by every god from every single mythology at that point. They were like, make a Pokemon. And they, they created Gengar. And that was that. that. That was just incredibly well done. Now we have another one that I think is pretty nice. I mean, the name, once again, the name is kind of way, right? But it is a very nice Pokemon. I like it. I really do. So I'm going to go A tier. Onyx just looks good. You know, it's a, it's, it's a uh, stone snake, rock snake. That's fine. It's better than Golem. All right. Let's continue with our beautiful, beautiful Drowsy and Hypno. And this Pokemon are the stuff of nightmares. And I love them. I think they are both um, A tier, I think. Yeah, I think these both are A tier, which is weird. Like, I don't like the Machamp line that much. They're kind of humanoidish. But these ones just work well for me. I don't know why. But they just do. I, ju I just like them. They're weird, 100%. The, the anime episodes even make them we make them even weirder. But I think that's the reason why I like them. Especially in a generation where you don't you, you had scary stuff. But ghost-wise, you know, like it was a bit lacking. And making psychic type this terrifying, it was a great way to just um, roll with it, you know? I'm going to bring another S tier next. 
funny little known fact about me. For whatever reason, I really like um, crap Pokemon. And Kingler is my favorite. So I'm going to get Kingler. Get it right there in S tier. Actually above the line. Yeah, I'll get I'll I'll go Krabby right there. Screw it. Krabby is awesome. Kingler is awesome. Let's go with the ball line. I will simply go um low C with these guys. I mean sure. I, I understand the reason for their existence. After getting the ASU inversions, I'm like that they they could be so much better. You know, both of them could be so much better. So um yeah, Cantonian Electrode, Cantonian Voltorb just lost a lot of um of points in my book after seeing the swing versions. I like their idea though. I really like their idea. Let's move on to uh, Execute and Executor. They're fine. I would go B tier with both, honestly. I think they're just fine Pokemon. Alolan, Alolan uh, Executor, that's a high A S tier Pokemon. They they were uh, on fire when they made that one. I think I think they're just amazing, but the regular line is just, it's a B tier. It's fine. It's a cool, cool concept, I guess. Get that one and let's get that one. These ones are incredible. I don't want to go uh, all the way to S tier with them, but I'll I'll put them at the highest possible, which is uh, high A. I I think the, all 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 the things I did around them, you know, the whole uh, Marowak mom and uh, oh my god, it's the skull of his mom and blah, blah blah. The whole concept around this Pokemon is fantastic. This uh, these two Pokemon are just incredible. I I think they did a wonderful job with them. That is why they are both very high A. Uh, Start th their whole concept is mostly S tier, honestly, but I, I would go IA with both. Ah, now, the Mons. I don't care that much for this Pokemon. I'm gonna be honest, I do not care that much for this Pokemon. I mean, ju just because, yeah, I, I would go D tier. Screw it, I would go D tier. We, we need some D tier love. They're, they're high D, I guess. They're fine, but I, I don't care a lot about them. I just don't. Uh, Licky Junk. Okay, Licky Junk is fine. Uh, it's weird. It's a weird Pokemon, but I would go low A for Licky Dunk. I think I would do low A. Low A. Yeah, low A for Licky Dunk. I think that's fine. What's there to hate? You know, like it's a weird one, has the tongue and all that, but it's a low A Pokemon. I would go there. These Pokemon are awesome, and uh, there would be an S tier spot for one. If we were talking about Forbes, there would be an S tier spot there. I think Galarian Whizzing is an S tier Pokemon. It, it is just incredible. I, I wouldn't have thought about the better way to do the whole, um, you know, like uh, industrial revolution thing as a Pokemon. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever think about something like that. Speaking about the Cantonian forms, they are pretty cool. They're both a Pokemon as well. Coughing higher than, uh, I'll, I'll put them there, but Coughing is higher than Weezing. Uh, Coughing looks higher than Weezing as well. But um, I, I would do it like that. Yeah, for now that would be the way. Rhydon and Rhyhorn. Very cool. I mean, Rhydon just looks badass. Let's be honest, Rhydon looks badass. I'll put Rhydon at um, high A. Okay, Rhydon is a badass Pokemon. That's a A tier, a high A tier. Exactly, it even has the meme. Like, there's no way Rhydon doesn't get a high A. I'll go Rhydon on... Um, imagine this is a high B, you know? Okay, uh, Chansey. <laughs> I mean, Chansey is a low C for me. I don't care for Chansey. I also don't care for Blissey. I mean, there are iconic Pokemon, sure, they are. Um, I just don't care for them, you know? Okay, Jangla. I like Jangla. It's a B tier, yeah. I won't do, I won't do C tier because I kind of, I, li I like Jungla, I like Jungla. Oh, Kangaskhan. All right, Kangaskhan. Huh, this is the high B. Yeah, high B for Kangaskhan. It is born with a baby, which is weird, but they never really, you know, like there's no explaining. It doesn't matter. Nobody should care, but, you know, Orsi and Cedra are fine. They're fine B Pokemon. I, I like Orsi more than I like Kingdra. I like Kingdra more than I like Cedra. I would go B for them, but imagine Horse is a mid-range, high B, and uh, Cedra is just... Nah, Cedra is a C. Yeah, Cedra is a C tier. I would go C. It's a high C for Cedra. High C uh, for Cedra, mid-range mid B for Horsey, I think. Golden and Seeking, these Pokemon are just... Uh, they're C Pokemon. You know, they're low C Pokemon. I don't dislike them a little bit. You know, they're fine. But, but they're just fine, you know. They're, it's not like looking at um, the Lee, the Lee bros and uh, the, the Hitmon bros and and all that, like, those are weird. Th these are just there, you know. They're like Raticate and PJ and all that. They're just there. They're fishes. That's cool. Same thing with Staryu and same thing with Starmie, honestly. They're higher. I would even go as far as low low B for them, you know, because they had the whole uh, Misty thing and all that, so they have a few points. I like Starmie more than than um, Staryu, by the way. Maybe it's the color. I think the, pur the purple color just makes it look better, so that's fine. Okay, uh... <laughs> 
maybe not a, a popular opinion. I like Mr. Mime to the point where I would do a B tier for it. I know it's a weird Pokemon. I would be afraid if I saw a Mr. Mime. I would probably be terrified to see a Mr. Mime. I would not let anyone that I held dear close to a Mr. Mime. But I think that's the reason why I would go mid-range B tier. It's a mid-B tier for me. I, I like the Pokemon. I don't like Mr. Rhyme that much. I don't like Galarian Mr. Mime as well. Like, those would be D tier to F for me. Uh, regular Mr. Mime, I'm fine with that. It looks weird. It looks more fleshy, you know? It looks more fleshy, which is weird. And weird sometimes is very good, you know? Okay, let's go Cider. And Cider is 100% like A tier. Like, there's no denying that. Cider is just A tier. I mean, Jinx is... Jinx is... Um, Jinx is a mistake. You know, Jinx is a mistake. I'll go F tier for Jinx. There's really nothing. Like, Jinx has nothing going for it. Like, nothing. Even Smoochum looks weird, you know? I, I know the, the inspiration. I know, th I know the inspiration behind it, but, uh, you know, no. It's weird. It's just weird. Electabuzz, Magmar, all of these are A tier Pokemon. These are the um, instant A section of the Pokedex. This is all we have here. It's uh, uh, This Pokemon is an A tier. Magmar is a low, uh, it's a lower A tier, but it's still A tier, you know? It is still A tier, and uh, I'm fine with that. I think Magby is better than, than Magmar. That's the thing. Pinsir is also A tier. I absolutely love Pinsir. This is... Yeah, like I said, this is a part of the Pokedex that they're cool Pokemon. You know, the cool Pokemon are here. And um, Taurus is also an A tier. I think... And the forms are amazing. Like, they did a really good job with the Paldean Taurus. I, I really like the breed thing. It's really nice. Magikarp and, uh, and Gyarados are fantastic. Um, if they are, like, super high tier, blah, 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 maybe not... Maybe they're not that high, but, um, okay, I'm gonna go, both of them, very high A. Like, they're, they're so cool, you know? I'll go very high A for, um, for these two. More on Gyarados, I kinda like Gyarados, you know? I, I think I'm a simple, I'm a simple guy, you know, those badass looking Pokemon? I'm kind of a fan of those, you know? I'm kind of a fan. Okay, Lapras, I think Lapras is S tier. Yeah, I think Lapras is S tier. Uh, it's a low S, but I prefer... It's not as bad as it's weird to say that I'm oh yeah, those badass Pokemon. Yeah, I, I really like those. And then Lapras comes after Gyarados, and I'm like, yeah, Lapras is S tier. But I think it's better. Lapras is better than Gyarados. Ditto, okay, the amoeba Pokemon. The amoeba like Pokemon. It's A tier. Yeah, Ditto is A tier. The, the concept is amazing. I really like what they did there. And um I, I think they were right with what they did to Ditto. I think that's a very way a very nice way to do that. Okay, so now we get to the OG evolutions. Eevee is a very cool Pokemon. I would go high A to low S on Eevee. And uh, I think out, out of these three, I prefer Flareon. I would go like um, Eevee first, high A on Eevee. Imagine this is a, a high A. I would go Flareon after. Flareon is uh, better than that. There's one evolution that is a S tier, but it is not in this generation. It is in another generation, so it is what it is. But we do have Vaporeon after, and I would go with Jolton as the last one. I would even go B tier for Jolton, honestly. Would I? Nah, it's a cool Pokemon. It is at least cool, though. Okay, Porygon. If Retro was here, I would be forced to go S tier on Porygon. Instead, I would go um, high B. Porygon is a high B Pokemon. I like the concept. Really, really, really like the concept. The design is like, yeah, it's fine. I really like the concept of like the download stuff and uh, the um, upgrade and the dubious disc and all that. You got a virus. I like that. I think that's very cool. Umbreon for the S tier? Absolutely. Umbreon is just the best one. Umbreon is just an incredibly cool Pokemon. I just love it. Okay, we got fossils now. We got Omanite. Okay, let's let's go like this. Let's go between Omanite and Kabuto first. First stage. I, I think they're both great. Honestly, they're they're both great. There's nothing bad that I can say about this Pokemon. The, the OG fossils are just amazing. I, I would go A tier for both. Yeah, they're mid-range, high A, I think. Something like that. I, I would do that for sure. Like, 100%. For the next evolutions, um, for the, the, their evolutions, we have Omastar, and, uh, which is Lord Elix, our friend, and Kabutops. If it wasn't for the Lord Elix thing, I would 100% prefer um, Kabutops. Like, 100%. That would, wouldn't be a question there. The Lord Elix thing did create a lot of, uh, 
you know, lore behind Omastar. And I, I guess I'll go Omastar first. You know, I'll do Omastar first and then uh, Kabutops. Kabutops looks cooler, you know? Like, Kabutops would easily be an S tier for uh, S tier for me. I would easily go for an S tier or on Kabutops, but uh, I'm respecting Lord Elix here. I'm respecting Lord Elix, and uh, that's how I'm going to do it. Aerodactyl is easily a high A tier. Aerodactyl is high A. I'm going to get it here because uh, moving all of these parts is very tough, but uh, Aerodactyl, high A, low, even low S Pokemon. Oh, there we go. There we go for another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful S tier Pokemon, the Snorlax. It's just really cool. I, I just really like Snorlax, you know? <laughs> In Pokemon Unite, I was maining Snorlax like crazy. I just really enjoyed the play. And I always try to get a Snorlax in my team. My Surf user in the, the early gens was most of the time Snorlax, you know? Ooh, now we get to the birds. All right. I mean, they're all A tier. They're, they are all A tier. And I do prefer Moltres to Zapdos. I don't... Articuno is not my favorite, though. Yeah, Articuno is not my favorite. I would go like this. Yeah, I would 100% go like this. I think we can do it like that. Like, Moltres first, then Articuno, then Zapdos. I think that's the way I look at the birds. They're not the coolest legendary birds. Like, let's be honest, there are cooler legendary birds and there are in Gen 2. Gen 2 has the coolest legendary birds. It is the way it is. No one can say anything. They're not the coolest Moltres, the coolest Zapdos, and the coolest Articuno. Let's just say that. There's better versions of them. Okay, now we have five more Pokemon uh, waiting for us. And now we're going to have Dratini, Dragonair, our A tier. Honestly, they're all A tier. I don't think Dragonite is S tier at all. Uh, these are all A tier Pokemon, honestly. I, I don't see them as S tier. I know Dragonite is like an iconic dragon, but they, it is too cute, you know? I wanted the first dragon to be... Imagine if it has like a Gyarados vibe to it. And Gyarados... Gyarados couldn't have a Dragonite vibe, though. Mm. Dratini is amazing, looks very cute, like very weak starter. Then we have Dragonair, all elegant and stuff. Gets the whole wings and usually you think about wings and... I mean, if you watch Digimon, like, wings are usually associated, Angel Wings especially, to very powerful stuff, like Angelmon, Angel Woman, and all that. Here, they're, they're fine. I like them. I would go, in order to save space, because um, having a I'm having some trouble here, I'll get Dratini here, Dragonair there, right next to Z and I'll get Dragonite right there. Okay, final two of the tier list. Okay, this is instantly an S tier. Mewtwo is just incredible. It is just incredible. And Mew is basically a very high A. So I would go Mewtwo to S tier. Like 100%. Mewtwo S tier. And then um, I would get Mew probably as um, a very high A. I'll get it like right there. You know, like I'll put it like right there in the middle. Yeah. I like it. As far as mythical, like little mythicals go, Mew is very cute, but not my favorite. Like, not when we have Hoopa. Hoopa is just amazing. I really like Hoopa. Celebi is amazing. Mew is very close to being amazing. Like, Celebi is S tier, and Hoopa is S tier as well, but um, Mew is there. It's better than Victini. A lot, by a lot. I prefer Mew to Victini a lot. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And that is that. That's the end of the tier list. Gen 1 is too big. It's too big. 151 Pokemon for this thing? It's too big. Yeah, I think that's the way I would do it. Gengar 100% the best Pokemon out of Gen 1. Like, I, I don't need to um, tell you that. You probably think that as well. Uh, Gengar is a kind of Pokemon that um, is very, very liked and still underrated. That's the way I would put it. And its forms are amazing. Like, Mega, Mega Gengar is super cool. Uh, G-Max Gengar is super cool as well. But yeah, that is the tier list. That is the way it ends. And um, if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments down below. And also subscribe to the channel to keep up with the content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.